normal car shows are just mm, okay. There exists one show that is by far my favorite show of the year. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for Southeastern Truck Nationals 2024 edition. And uh, it is, it's early. <laughs> I think it's like 5.30, something like that. Show season. Love it. Especially whenever it's a good show. Uh, Southeastern Truck Nationals, all Chevy, uh, GM truck show. Uh, going on at the Wilson County Fairgrounds in Lebanon, Tennessee, July 12th, 13th, which y'all guys, if you didn't go there, you missed it. Sorry. Wait till next year. Typically, uh, the show is the second weekend of July. Yes, it's a hot weekend, but ton of trucks, ton of good people, a lot of cool stuff. So uh, anyhow, I am waiting on Taylor to get out here because uh, Jackson has to work this weekend so he's not going to be joining me to sleep most of the show away so uh taylor's going to be joining me this this year at the show and uh we're getting ready to roll out so we can go ahead and get up there get set up and start cooking some breakfast because i'm hungry as we wait on all the other trucks and everybody to show up so uh all right i'll uh, i'm gonna get on the road and we'll see y'all guys here in just a few minutes all right just pulled up and uh we're waiting in line uh to get in so fan fantastic uh got here a little early 10 till 7 so uh worked out great so all right uh typically they'll let us in a little bit early uh, as long as i got everything set up inside so uh, as soon as they let us in we'll get over to our spot and uh start getting set up so uh so excited i love the show it's a great show all right well uh, we'll pick back up once we get to uh once we get to our place all right got out to the pavilion and we are set up we got uh we got the daily all set up. Big John hanging out. Steve right there. And uh, just finished hanging up my little banner. So uh, we're still getting trucks and everybody kind of placed and ready to go. But uh, we got a pretty good crew. Pretty good crew out here. So uh, I guess I'm going to drag out the cooler and the grill and all that fun stuff. Because uh, it's about time to start cooking some breakfast. So, uh, all right, uh, I'm gonna get rolling on that. Catch back up here in a bit. Well, I stole the golf cart. So uh, we're gonna cruise around for a minute. I'm gonna head over to uh, the vendor, the vendor row and uh, see what all's shaking over there. No cop, no stop. But uh, <laughs> uh, we'll do a little ride around tomorrow to uh, kind of see what all's going on in and around uh, you know trucks and whatnot so um all right well do a quick little ride up and down uh, vendor row here it'll be easier on the golf cart it's a lot of walking so here we go
pretty much uh, vendor row. <laughs> There's multiple rows of the vendor stuff. So I'm gonna double back because I saw some really good prices on some wheels that I like, possibly. So uh, I'm gonna go take a peek at a few of these things a little bit more up close and personal. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then uh, I'm gonna go back. It's getting almost lunchtime. So uh, yeah. Today was a, uh, a very good day. I would say it was a success. <laughs> Fridays are always a little bit more low-key than Saturdays. Saturdays, uh, that's, well, you know, some people don't get, they can't take off Friday, so they don't show up on Fridays. But Saturday's usually the busy day. It's supposed to be a little bit hotter tomorrow, so could be, uh, could be a little bit uh, sweatier. <laughs> but uh, yeah, great day today, hanging out, saw a lot of cool stuff. Uh, went and checked out the vendor row, went to the swap meet. It was, eh, it was okay. Um, most of their stuff was focused on 50s and 60s trucks. Uh, maybe some early 70s stuff, but not a whole lot on the other hand. So anyhow, I'll uh, be set back up here tomorrow and uh, we'll do a walk around of the uh, trucks that are actually out and about across the whole fairgrounds. And uh, well, we, we rented a golf cart because did that last year and it was uh, a lifesaver. So uh, looking forward to doing that again this year. So anyhow, uh, close it out for tonight, head to the house, get a shower, enjoy some air conditioning and we will see y'all in the morning. Another beautiful sunrise and another day for a good old truck show. So uh, <laughs> on the road, bright and early, obviously, and uh, headed back up to Lebanon for day two of Southeastern Truck Nationals 2024. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll just wait and see y'all guys there unless there's something interesting that happens along the way. God help me if something interesting happens along the way because that would make three years in a row and I really don't want to do that this year. So, <laughs> so we'll see y'all guys at the show in probably about an hour-ish. All right, see you shortly. All right, well, we are here and uh, got all three of the trucks lined up, ready to go. Thought it'd be a nice day. It's gonna be a little warmer today than it was yesterday, but uh, but mood's, mood's pretty good. Uh, we are down one. Uh, apparently, Caden had an incident last night on his way home, and his uh, he's got that 76 long bed. It's been on the channel a few times, and uh, apparently had a wreck last night and really jacked it up. If I can get a hold of one of the pictures or something, I'll throw it in here. But uh, yeah, tore it up pretty doggone good. So he said he's still gonna try to make it up here. Don't know if that's going to happen or not but uh anyhow i've got uh, i got the grill cooking and uh going so we can get our breakfast going this morning is uh, jalapeno spam and eggs burritos so uh i'm gonna get over there and get to it and uh here in a little bit we'll go take a stroll around and see uh see some of the cool trucks out here so catch back up with you here in just a few it's out cruising on the golf cart dodging people other golf carts Figured to do a little different approach this year. Usually I just kind of, you know, blast through stuff. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, <laughs> ooh, shiny. Um, so I think this year what I'm gonna do is just uh, cruise around, pick out a few that I like, and uh, kind of showcase on them a little bit, and uh, try to keep the, uh, ooh, that's a beautiful truck. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna just pick out a few and then, uh, come back and just kind of do a showcase on them rather than just kind of you know blasting through all this stuff so, you know, it's 1500 trucks there's a lot to see so uh yeah i'm gonna cruise around get my bearings and then i'll follow back up with y'all once uh dang dang <laughs> nice all right yeah i'll be back what are you doing stepbrother <laughs> Affectionately calling this guy Stepside Steve. <laughs> Here's his owner. <laughs> so I've seen, I saw this truck, I don't know, what was it, a couple years ago? Yeah, it was last year. Was it last year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I saw this truck last year and was just like, my God, that looks just like Steve. And just absolutely love it. It's got, uh, it's got all the right patina and everything. I really, really enjoy this. So uh, <laughs> the LS swap done on it.
Yeah, I, I need this truck. I don't need it, but I want it. So, <laughs> all right, moving on. So I found a few that are beautiful trucks, but uh, there's quite a few. So this guy right here, oh, that orange one's really pretty too. Super, super nice. So uh, yeah, pretty much driven around the whole place, but not sure if we've seen everything yet. I'm pretty confident we have not, but uh, I think we're going to head up back over to one area where it's, uh, it's a, as you might could say, a target rich environment. And uh, there's a lot of good looking trucks up back up over there. So we're going to go over there and uh, get out of the cart for a little bit, stretch our legs and uh, kind of walk around and look at some of these, look at some of these trucks in a little bit, uh, a little bit closer. So, all right, we are headed that way onward. Y'all should know by now I'm a sucker for anything with a camper top pretty much. And uh, this truck's really, really, it's just right. It's even the right color. I dig the, uh, the little console with the switches. Very nice, very nice. Moving on. I say this thing all the time and I love it. I want this one. Oh, the green and white. Beautiful. Like I said, a target rich environment over here. So many good trucks to look at. I love a little S10. I don't fit in them for nothing, but I love them. They're good looking little trucks. I really need to get back to work on Jackson's Blazer. <laughs> well, this guy's got a Duramax. That's sharp. And uh, who doesn't like a short bed K10? Oof. 77 short bed turbine wheels and the good old super swampers. Dang. Dang, even with the red interior, that's great. <laughs> Whew. Giving me the vapors. <laughs> John, maybe one day.
So this is a buddy of mine, uh, Travis, this is his truck, uh, CTP Concepts. And uh, uh, this thing's been in magazines and all sorts of stuff. It is bodied, chopped, bagged, you name it. It's had the works done to it. And this thing is, well, low's an understatement. So yeah, check it out. I mean, here, there's, there's my knee. <laughs> yeah, CTP Concepts. Uh, I know he's got an Instagram. Um, I don't remember if he had a Facebook page or not, but I know he's got an Instagram. Uh, gotta follow him. He's got a lot of really cool builds, a lot of really cool stuff going on over there. Moving on.
the show's winding down and uh, getting ready to do the giveaway. Uh, they have a giving away an LS3. Uh, so everybody's here for that. And some other little door prizes and then the awards, which, yeah, who cares about the awards? But there's all sorts of folks. It's, uh, it gets, it's pretty crowded. So this is about to get underway. So I guess, uh, I guess we're going to sit here with all these folks. Practice their acceptance speech. Yes, practicing acceptance speeches. <laughs> so they're about to get started. So I'm going to shut this off. I'll pick back up, uh, back up there at the pavilion. And just like that, <laughs> it's over. Until next year, sad noises. <laughs> so it was a great show. Hot. It was definitely hot this year. Um, I always bring a five gallon water jug and yesterday we probably burned three gallons of it and yeah we're probably about the same today so uh everybody drinking plenty of fluids getting themselves uh staying hydrated so uh yeah good show though lots of great trucks oh yeah one like 100 bucks uh one of their drawings uh ended up winning 100 bucks so hey that's cool it's 50 dollars registration that covers two-thirds of my registrations for this year <laughs> So, not angry about it. That's, you know, it's kind of nice. So, anyhow, I've got to get uh, Brooks headed down to go hook up to the trailer. I got to take Steve down to the trailer, get him loaded, and then uh, strapped, all that fun stuff, and then hop in Big John and head home. So, all right, well, I guess uh, Southeastern Truck Nationals 2024, I'm calling it a good success. Tons of good folks, tons of great trucks. I like that one. <laughs> and just overall a really good time so if you're ever in the nashville area it's usually second weekend of july is whenever he holds the show two-day show friday saturday if you're anywhere within a couple hour drive highly recommend coming out just make sure bring plenty of water so you know big hat umbrella something like that just kind of block out the sun because it does uh it do get a little steamy <laughs> So I'm gonna wrap it up there and uh, I will see y'all guys next time. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you like this sort of thing, I usually only do this on like the bigger shows. Uh, so I don't do like car show stuff too terribly often. But uh, if you like it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, that always helps. And if you wanna follow me on social media, that information is down in the description. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna go get Steve loaded up, get Big John ready to go on the road. And we will see y'all next time. And just remember, folks, ain't got to be perfect. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time.